Hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do an animal that everybody is familiar with. It's going to be a beaver. And I will show you how to do that from start to finish. You know, I thought they're, they're a cute little animal. You know, they get those nice little white incisor teeth in the front. You know, then they get the flat tail on the back, which everybody is familiar with. You know, they, they use that to kind of tamp down the mud. They build their little dam and they use that for uh, packing everything in. I'll show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. This is the one I've mentioned in the past that I used all the time when I was a little kid, and it's a great clay to use. You make things out of it, and then pretty soon you can just, when you get tired of something, you just make something new, roll it up into a ball again, and, and it's multicolored clay, so it, it's really good. You can buy this in any art store. Another type of clay that you can buy is an air hardening clay such as this, which can be bought in any art store. And this hardens in a couple of hours or overnight, and you can paint it. And uh, that's the, what the great thing is about this clay. The only thing is once you made it, it's permanent, and you can't change it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be fired in the oven at 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can do a tremendous amount of detail with it. So that, that's why I really enjoy it. And being able to use it in a household oven is awesome. <clears throat> the size balls of clay that we can use are, what we're going to do is we're going to have this size ball of clay here. I'll show you the, the big ball of clay here is going to be for the, the body. And then what I did is we're going to have this smaller ball of clay here with the head. And you see there's a couple of little small balls of clay here. Those are going to be the ears. This is going to be the head of the beaver along with the ears. And then <clears throat> what we're going to do is we have these four smaller balls of clay which will be used for the feet and the, act the actual tail on the back. And I'll show you these other the other two balls of clay here. These will be used for the, the uh, front arms or front feet. The first thing that we'll do is I want to show you we're going to sculpt the body of the beaver, which is this piece right here. We're going to work on this piece right here and we're going to make that piece. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take this ball of clay here and we're going to work it in our hands like this, just like that. And I'm just going to kind of squinch, you know, pinch it, squish it, and uh, we'll try to make that general shape for the beaver. I'm just going to kind of work it like that. You see that? the Because this is going to be where the neck area is going to be, and this is the, the sloping back. So we're just going to work it like that. Just work it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it in the table just ever so slightly like this. You want to kind of flatten it out on the bottom. So we'll just tap it a little more. And we'll just do that. The next thing that we want to do is we want to attach the head. So we'll take this ball of clay here and I'm going to take these two pieces of clay off here for the ears and I'll put them down on the table. And we're going to take and put these two pieces together. So we're going to take this, just kind of squeeze this together. See how I'm kind of pushing that together? I'm going to take and just push that together and squeeze it, just like that. I'm going to go all the way around so we, we can attach it. See how I'm kind of working that together like that? I'm going to do that. And so we kind of get that where we want it. And then what I also want to do is take the head, and I'll show you. We're going to kind of make like a little snout. See this piece here? See how that kind of thins out here? And then we're going to put a little nose on there. But, and then we're going to take and kind of make that snout area there. So I'm going to show you how to, we're going to kind of pull that out and 
I'm going to do that right now. So we take this here, and you kind of squeeze this here, just like this. And I'll show you what, we, what it will look like. Get the snout. See this here? See how we kind of thin that out? That's going to be the nose there. And then I'll eventually put the ears on there. And uh, I'll just kind of make sure that's all the way it should be. What I want to do next is I want to maybe work on putting on the tail, which is we'll take this ball of clay here, and I'll show you the shape that we want to make is this shape right here. See that? It looks like a little paddle. Think of it like an upside down U. That's what it will look like. And that's the piece that we're going to make right now and then attaches to the body. So what you want to do is take this ball of clay here, then take your fingers and kind of pinch it to flatten it out. Pinch it like that. And then we want to make that U shape. I'll show you, just kind of keep working it. Just like that. See that? So we kind of have that U shape. And I just want to make sure I flatten that out nicely. Just like that. And we're going to attach that to the bottom of the, the beaver. So we're going to take this, see I'm just going to push this up into here. And kind of see how I just take and work the clay like that. And then, there are some other tools that we can use here tonight. I want to show you, we have a toothpick, which can be bought, you know, at any supermarket or a drugstore. What I like about these, they have the points at both ends. But what we can do is take and just kind of work that clay in like this at the, at the tail. See, I'm just kind of pushing that down. That way we attach it all the way around. Do that. And now we'll proceed to make the feet. I want to show you that the next step here is we want to make these feet right here. See these, these, this foot right here? They have like webbed feet. So what I'm going to do is then I'll show you the bottom. We can see how they, I kind of made them flat. I'll show you how to make that shape and then we'll place that underneath the, the body of the beaver. We'll take this and I'm going, to fl I'm going to flatten this out, make that foot-like shape, just like this. You can kind of squeeze it, just like that. I'm just going to do that. And then, see how it's kind of nice and flat? See, that? that's the shape that you want to make the beaver's foot. That's what it'll look like from the side. That's what it'll look like from the bottom. And we're going to do two of those. I'm going to proceed to get the other piece of clay and we're going to do the same exact same thing. And do that. Just kind of squeeze that. Just like that. See that? We got the other foot. And I'll try to, I want to make sure they're approximately the same size. You know, if they're a little off, don't worry, but they should be about that size there. And then what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to put that on the bottom of the beaver. So what I'm going to do is see this? Take and just kind of place that underneath like this and squeeze it, just kind of squeeze it in like that. So that's what it will look like from the other side. And we're going to proceed to do the other side the same way. So I'm going to take this and put that right here, right about there. And just going to squeeze and push it in, just like that. So this is what it will kind of look like from the top. And then what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to make the web feet. 
So I'll show you right here. We're going to do this. I'm going to take and go like this. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. See how we made the, the web foot? We'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll do one, two, three, four. See how we made that, that nice web foot? Now we'll proceed to make the front legs. And that's going to be these legs right here. See that leg? We're going to do a leg for either side just like that. He's got like a little foot. So that's basically the, sh the shape that you want. I'll proceed to make those legs. So we'll take these. I'm going to pull this clay out just like this. Just think, we're almost making like a log-like shape. But then take, I'm just going to pull that out. And then when it gets near the, now I'm going to take and make this little foot. So what I'm going to do is kind of, I'll try to show you. See how I'm kind of twisting that to make the foot? And that's, that's what you want to make. That's what it looks like from the side. That's what it looks like from the front. See how I kind of pulled that out? And we're going to proceed to put that on the front of the beaver right about here. I'll show you. See that? That's going to be like right here. Just going to work that in just like that. And just do that. And then what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to make the little, little toes. So we're going to take this here and you're going to go one, two, three, four. See how I made that? And we're going to proceed to do the same for the other side. I'm going to take this ball of clay here, make that little log-like shape, just like that. So I'm pull, just kind of pulling on that. And then when you get to about this size roughly, we're going to flip it, make, see how I kind of make that foot just kind of twist up a little bit? And that's what we want to do. So that's what it will look like from the front, sides. See how that, see how I made that nice little lip? Now we're going to proceed to put that on the other side. So we're going to take the beaver and we will put that right about here. Just kind of work that like that, push it up against the beaver, just like that. And we're going to proceed to make those little toes now. So we're going to take this, we're going to do one, two, three, four. See how I made those nice little toes? And now we will proceed to make the ears. So I'm going to take these two little balls of clay here and I'll show you what we're trying to do. See these ears on the beaver here? Right here? We're going to make that shape, those two little ears. And I'll show you how to do that. Take the ball of clay, pick it up, and just kind of squeeze it, flatten it out, just like that. See the, the shape that we just made? Just like that. That will be the front and that will be the, the side. So what we're going to do is I'm going to look at the beaver and we're probably going to put the ear approximately in that location. Just kind of squeeze it like that. and Just take your fingers and kind of work it in. And then on the back, you can kind of See, I'm taking and using my fingers to kind of work it in like that. You want to work it all the way around. Now we'll proceed to do the other ear. And I'll put that down. We're going to take this. 
And you see I'm flattening the ear out, making that round shape, just like that. And we'll proceed to put that on the other side of the beaver, which is right about here. See, I'm just placing that on there, kind of working it with your fingers, just like that. And you want to go all the way around and work that, that ear in. So now what we could do is I have a little sculpting tool here. This can be bought in any art store, and I'll show you the package that it normally comes in. This is the package that it would come in. It has metal tools, and then there's some other tools that almost look like pieces of wood. I'll show you how to use that another time, but we want the little metal sculpting tool that I just has shown you. And we're going to use that. What we're going to do is take this triangular point here, and we're going to scoop out some of the ear. See that piece there? And I'll show you where to take this. Go like this. See how I'm going to get that? And you kind of go like this. Just like that. I'll put that over there. And we're going to do the same for the other side. just like that. And I'll take a quick look at it. I want to see if I need to scoop any more out. Just get that like that. Yeah, don't worry if it's perfect, it, but see how that, you kind of scoop that out. It has that little indentation for the ear. And then the next thing that we will do is I have a, another tool here that I, I like. And uh, it's a metal tool, and it kind of has like a round, if you can find something with kind of like a rounded edge like this, see how that is? We're going to use that for the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you, we're going to make little indentations in the tail. So we're going to take this, just kind of go like this, and, and do that for the tail. Just like that. And you do kind of do it all the way around. Because they, they kind of have those little indentations in the tail like that. Just like that. You can do something along those lines. So that the next thing that we want to do is we probably want to create the eyes. So I'll show you. We're going to just use the toothpick for that, the two little eyes here. And we'll, I'll show you how to do that with the... Uh, the toothpick. So we're going to do this, take this, and I'm going to look at them, and the eye will approximately go here. So take this and go back and forth. See, I'm going back and forth like that. There's one eye, and then we're going to go and do the, the second eye, and we'll go back and forth like that, just like that. So there, the eyes. You know, don't, if they're not perfect, don't worry about it. Just, but that's a simple way of making them. And the next step that we want to take is I want to make the nose. So I'm going to get some clay from over here. I always like to have a little extra clay on hand. And we're going to take, take a little piece of clay about this big, I would say. Very tiny. And we're going to make that into the nose. So what I'm going to do is flatten that out a little bit. And I'm going to make this shape here for the nose. I'll try to. And then what we're going to do is attach that right here. See how I put that in the front? So I'm going to kind of put that there. Kind of push it in. So that's, that's what the nose will look like. See it from the side? from the front, from the top. And then what we want to do is we want to take with that little nose now and take and make a couple of little holes right here. Then make another one little hole. I'm going to go like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some teeth 
<clears throat> so I'm going to take another little piece of clay off here and it's going to be about this size here. Oops. I want to make sure you can see it. See it right there? And then we're going to take and make that into like a, almost like a little square. So we're going to flat, you want to flatten this out and then kind of use your fingers to kind of go around the edges and try to square it off a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place that right under here for the teeth because they have a couple of big white teeth. So I want to take and then what we'll do is we'll make a little indentation like this for the teeth because these are the teeth they used to take trees down with and then along the edge you can kind of make the mouth a little bit like this see how we just take make the little line here just kind of go like that and then we'll do the same on the other side just kind of work that like that see how I did that I'll try to do it so you can get a better view just kind of work like that so now you got the teeth in the mouth, and uh, let's see, I want to see if there's a, check my other model and see if there's something I may have forgotten. And we're pretty much almost there. So the next step in the process, what I like to do also with this type of clay, I would take and take the, this toothpick and make a hole in the bottom so the, the clay won't crack. By doing this, it lets the gases escape from the clay. And uh, I'll show you. Now what we want to do is we want to take and make fur. So you're going to take and just kind of do short strokes like this and go all around the face with the short strokes here. Just go all the way around, just like that. And you want to do the entire face in that manner. When you get to the body, you can make these a little longer. So I would just take longer strokes when you're doing the body, just like this. See, I'm just kind of taking, making lo longer strokes. And you're going to go around the entire body in that manner. And then when you do this leg here, I would probably go up this way when you're making the fur. Kind of go in that manner, just like that. So you'll, you'll make the fur go in that manner going around the entire body, and I'll show you what it should look like. When you're done with your sculpture, see how I, I got the fur on the, the face? I'll try to rotate it so you can get a good view. Then I did the, the fur around the entire body here, and that way. There's one more thing that I would like to show you. There's these legs here. You kind of want to let the back legs protrude a little bit like this. So what I would like to do is we're going to take some pieces of clay. I just realized there was one more thing. I'm going to get a ball of clay like this. And I'll show you. I'll, and what I'll do is get another ball of clay. I'm going to make sure they're approximately the same size. And take this. See, I'll kind of take this in my hand right now and just kind of roll it like that to round it out. So we'll do that, but then we want to make this leg-like shape in the back, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Take this, and I'll show you the shape that we want. We're going to want to make this type of shape here. It almost looks like an ear of sorts. And I will show you, we'll do one for both sides, and I'll proceed to make the other one. And we'll just kind of flatten that out nicely, just like that. We'll make sure they're approximately the same size. And I'll show you. We're going to place this one on this side here, right there, and just kind of work it in like that. Because that looks, makes it look like the real leg, just like that. 
Just kind of work it in. Like that. See how you created that contour for the leg? And we're going to do the same on the other side. Sort of place that right about here on that side. And you kind of work that in on that side. See, I'm just kind of taking and working that in just like that. So you get that nice real leg. See the shape? And just kind of work that in a little more at the bottom. You know, and you so it's created a very nice effect. I'll show you on the, f the finished model. See how I, you have that, that rear leg there? See how I kind of attached that and I did the fur? And you want to do that the same on the other side. Just like that. You created that nice little contour for the rear leg. The next step in the process now, the sculpture is completed. We want to paint. You can buy these acrylic paints in any art store. And the colors we'll be using tonight are, we're going to be using brown for the body, white for the ears and the teeth, black for the nose, and let me see if there's any other. And then we're going to be using gray for the flat tail on the back. So I'll show you the size brushes that we want to use. I'll put these aside. Let's see, we want to I'll probably use this size here for the eye. See, this brush is very small. It's got a very small tip. So I can use that for the black eyes and the black nose. For the body, we can use this one right here because it's much bigger and cover a lot more area. And then for the gray tail, I'll probably use this one. And then for the white, for the ears, we're going to use this for the white. The first thing that we want to do is we probably can do the, the gray tail. I'll show you how to do that. Take and dab that in like that. And this is the the tail area right here that we want to do, right there. Just kind of take and dab that like that. Go back and forth. Just kind of do that. And then dab. Go all the way around. And see how I'm doing that? Just like that. You know, sometimes it might need a couple of coats of paint. You want to cover it up nicely. And the next step in the process will be, we'll probably do the eyes and the nose. So I'll put this down. We're going to get our black paint. We got that. I'll take that and dab it. And what we want to do for the eyes is I'm just going to kind of insert this into the eye. And I'll do the same on the other side. And this is see how going to go in like that. And we have the eyes. You know, and if you put too much paint, you can always go over it to to uh, with the brown paint so it's the, the smaller but what we're going to do too is we'll do the nose that little nose just like that see how we did that and the next thing that we want to do 
is I think we'll do the white. <clears throat> I'm going to do the white teeth and ears. I'm going to take this, pick this up, and what you want to do for the ears is just kind of dab them in here. Just like that, and we'll do the same for the other side. Dab like that. And then for the teeth, just kind of dab them right here. And that's what they used to cut the trees down and build their dam, and they build their little house for the winter. Just gonna just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything on that. And the next step in the process will be painting the body. And we'll be using the brown paint for that. So then uh, we'll get that brown paint. And you want to do the entire beaver in that, with that color. So take and go do it like this, back and forth, back and forth. And then for the face there, if you want to get a smaller brush, so you can get very close in to the eyes and the ears without painting over anything you've done, you can use a smaller brush for that. But for, for the most part of the body, I want to just go back and forth, back and forth like that, just like this. And I'll show you. We'll do the other leg over here, back and forth, back and forth. And then I'll show you on this side. We'll do the same thing here. You don't need to paint the very bottom, but like the feet here, just kind of dab over them like that. See how we just did that? Go like that. And then paint the bottom going back and forth like that. Just like that. Dab it in nicely. I'll show you. We'll kind of do the back. Kind of like that. just like that and you go back and forth sometimes you need to give it a couple of coats though when you're doing this because sometimes it looks good when you paint it and then when it dries you realize there's some areas that you need to paint a little better but just go back and forth in that manner up and down just like that and we'll do the other foot over here see that I'm kinda doing that just go back and forth and I will show you what the finished painted version should look like. The finished painted beaver, you can see his white teeth in the front, the white in the ears, the black eyes and nose, and then you can see the gray tail on the back. I painted that a nice gray color. So this is what the beaver will look like when you're completed just like that you paint all around you know you can always touch it up give it more paint sometimes it's good to give it two or three coats but I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay and I look forward to seeing you again next week and uh, goodbye for now thank you Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.